Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Paul and Lubo from Ukraine and this is short update from our life here. And I'm sorry for being offline for so many days. Uh, many of you messaged me and asked me, Paolo, where are you? What happened? Where is the videos? Are you okay? The reason why we are offline, we are sick. And we've been sick for 10 days already. Uh, seems that I got a virus somewhere, then I came home, shared it with Luba, and we became sick together. So all this time we stayed at home, we tried to recover our health, eat medicine, uh, doing some traditional stuff to recover, but nothing helped. And we still have temperature, we still have running nose, we still have core. But today we need to go outside to visit grocery store, bank, and just to breathe this fresh air. The weather outside is freaking cold, it's minus seven or minus eight but it feels like minus 14 so i don't i, I can imagine what's there and uh, we want to invite you with us and we'll see what happened outside together let's do it So this is our national bank called Privat and because of the electricity outages it works like three four hours per day and because of that we always have here lines of people who came to pay for utility bills to take some money or to get pension and same with ATMs like when this uh, building don't have electricity they also do not work Не холодно? Ну так. А вы кассу есть? Э, да, я буду. Сейчас. Вот это я. Вы видите, люди приходят и спрашивают, кто последний на линии. Это еще один вопрос и проблема, когда у нас электричество отказывается. And you may wonder and ask me, Paolo, what about internet payments, why you can pay there? Like, we can pay inter uh, using internet, but uh, usually people who used to come every time to the apartment, uh, elderly people, they used to come and pay here. Like, many of them, they don't know how to use uh, internet apps, or, of course, uh, some of them ask their children to pay, but uh, there are many people who are single and alone, and uh, they usually come here and uh, wait this line, and only after that they pay for the utility and it's really uncomfortable especially when it's a minus 10 outside and you should stay in this line for like 40 minutes or for an hour and it's really easy to catch some cold because of that and now we have air alarm and it seems the department will be closed so it means that we need to wait more and all of those people who are standing there, same. Як тобі путешествие в банк? Що ти можеш сказати? Yeah, Luba says that everyone is so angry here because some of uh, those people they like tried so many times to get inside starting from the morning and now the, and they are still not able to uh, to go there and I can say that it's minus seven or minus eight the weather call says but it feels like minus 12 or minus 13 and it's really freaking cold outside especially when you are sick it's been an hour from the moment when we came here so we went to the cafe to take hot drinks and uh, it was air alarm and the apartment was closed and now it's opened again so we are here and I hope that we'll be able to take some money there. So 
it took one and a half hour to get inside the bank, Luba. What can you say? Why? And what is, what is the reason why the, the, so many people? Uh -huh. yeah. uh -huh. The main reason why it's, it's like that it's because we have only one department in this city. So one department of the main national bank here. Before we had three or two, three, and now only one. So people who are living in the city, who are living in the region, no, like, she, they came from, from everywhere and everybody needs this bank. So please, private bank, if you are watching my <laughs> videos, please open more departments because we really, really need you. So this is a local school on the right side and many of you ask me do we need to visit school or university right now and I really didn't know the answer because I really I really don't know yeah but it seems that uh, they started to visit school Luba said that it's only the second day but uh, anyway you need to go to school right now something strange we just came inside and uh, the light was turned off but uh, things with this shop has a generator so at least you can see some light but of course it's better to use a torch Oh. Uh, the worker said that the light appeared. So this is what I've took. Banana kiwi and tangerines and I can say that price is now almost two times higher than it was before this is the square where we had a Christmas tree last year but now you see it's empty uh, every region and uh, town city had polls where people elect uh, should we put a Christmas trees on main city squares or not and uh, mostly all people voted that we don't need Christmas tree this year uh, so local companies they uh, decorated the real Christmas trees that uh, located in our park that park which I showed you many times in my previous videos so at least uh, children can feel this New Year atmosphere. They decorated a Christmas tree with toys and uh, there was like a little celebration for kids this year. But uh, it's not like we had before. Because before we had a big celebration with uh, street food, with barbecue, yeah, with everything. You can see that uh, traffic lights are working now. But we still have electricity outages. Yeah. We didn't have it during New Year, but now they returned and we have this electricity outage that uh, scheduled 
As for water and heating supply in the city, thankfully we have it all the time without any outage and the battery is really warm. Yeah, so at least it's, it's warm at home. It was our short update from Ukraine. Thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you so much for your support and kind words in comment sections, on emails. Special thanks to my patrons and people who support me and buy me a coffee. I wish you all best. Take care of yourself, take care of your loved ones and see you in the next video. Bye bye.